What's going on guys? JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, you want to help to support my channel, then do subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Aiming for 16,000 subscribers now, we're less than 600 subscribers away from that target. We're also aiming for 20,000 subscribers, that is the overall aim for this year, so any help towards that it would be much appreciated by me. Uh, we've got uh, daily Manchester City transfer updates coming throughout all of the summer transfer window when the summer window does open, so do stay tuned for that. I know a lot of people do enjoy these kind of videos. Don't forget also social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email. Also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. Leave a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Aiming for 300 likes, that's the like goal on this video. And also don't forget, let me know your thoughts in the comments below as I'm always interested in what you do have to say with regards to these transfers. Lots to get through, so let's crack on with this video. We're going to start off first with some contract news. John Stone's update, small one this one. The Times are reporting that Manchester City, they're going to be entering into contract talks with John Stone's. That's going to come this summer. We're expecting it to be soon, so we've got a time frame on that. That's expected to come this summer in reflection of how good a season John Stone's has had with Manchester City, so good news with regards to that. Moving on to the outs, we've got a Jaden Braff update. Uh, the delay in announcing his loan signing to Udinese uh, was Udinese waiting on an option uh, to buy, uh, and that took apparently a few days to negotiate with Manchester City. Now, Dortmund, they did want to sign Braff on a permanent basis. Manchester City told them in January, no. So, Dortmund, I don't think, will be too happy that they could have loaned him with an option to buy in the summer. Uh, I think Manchester City's aim was to have control of the player, which, with regards to this loan deal, we now do not have. Udinese, the option, £9 million they can sign him in the summer and we will lose him if they do activate their right to sign him. Uh, I do get the feeling though that Manchester City do not want to keep Braff, uh, which is a big shame uh, because I do think he has a lot of potential and I do hope he does smash it over in Italy at Udinese and I will, be coping, uh, I will be keeping a close eye on his developments. Now moving on to an update on Jack Harrison. I know a few people have been uh, asking for an update on this. So uh, Leeds News, they've been reporting that Leeds are expecting uh, Jack Harrison to become their player in the summer on a permanent basis. He's currently on loan at Leeds and he's available for Leeds to sign in the summer for £10 million. In my opinion, that's an absolute bargain if Leeds do not exercise this clause to sign him and City did want to uh, sell Jack Harrison in the summer, I would be looking looking for what? Nearly double that amount of £10 million. I'd be looking for anywhere between 15 to £20 million. Having a very good season in the Premier League. He's homegrown. Uh, he's young. Uh, yeah, like I said, he's having a really good season. He's a really good player, so I'd be looking for uh, a good amount. So Leeds, uh, I'm, I'm more than... I'm, I've more than accepted that he'll be joining them on a permanent basis. £10 million getting themselves a bargain there. Now, moving on, we've got an update on Fernandinho. Now, Otempo in Brazil have been reporting that Manchester City, they want to keep Fernandinho as a new assistant coach. Uh, Manchester City are apparently ready to put their proposal forward to Fernandinho, but I do not see him accepting this at this point in his career because, it, in my opinion, he's still got two or three good seasons left in his legs. He's still a quality player, so I don't see him retiring and uh, joining in Manchester City's backroom staff. However, uh, if he does want to leave football uh, and he thinks now is the right time to do so and he does want to go into coaching, I would hope that he would take up the opportunity with Manchester City and I'd hope that City would keep the option there for Fernandinho to uh, join our coaching staff when he does decide to hang up his boots. I am expecting Fernandinho not to be offered a new contract uh, extension at Manchester City and I am expecting him to leave City at some point. So we'll see what happens with regards to Fernandinho. Now, the last story of the out, we've got a little update on Phil Foden. Now, Fabrizio Romano has said that Manchester City, no matter what, will not be selling Phil Foden this summer. That's even if, and I quote, a super offer does come in for him. Uh, Manchester City will not be letting Phil Foden, one of their top bright prospects, leave the club. Now, moving on to the ins, we've got a little update on Sergio Ramos. Now, sources in Spain have said that uh, Sergio Ramos could still leave Real Madrid for free in the summer, uh, but I'm not expecting him to leave, I will add, uh, and I am expecting him to sign a new deal at Real Madrid. Apparently, he wants 
to go and play for PSG or Manchester City. That's because he wants uh, them uh, to pay him more money. And by them, I mean Real Madrid. Uh, he's saying that Manchester City and PSG can afford to pay his wage. Uh, and if Real Madrid won't pay the wage that he wants, he'll go to PSG or Man City because they will pay him what he wants. Mercenary City will not touch uh, or go near Sergio Ramos if that is his aim. Uh, I see another club in Manchester that does do things like that. And it certainly isn't Manchester City. So, yeah. Anyway, we've got an update now on Keiki and Matinho. Now, Flamenci in Brazil. Uh, they're struggling to get these two players on new contracts. This is following the CFG. That's the City Football Group's first offer being rejected. Their contracts do run out in 2022. And I am expecting City to go back in. Uh, well, the City Football Group, anyway, to go back in for offers for Keiki and Matinho. Uh, so, we'll see what happens with regards to that. Uh, I don't imagine uh, City or the CFG will be in a rush to get these deals done. They don't need completing any time soon. So maybe we'll have an update on that in my next video. Maybe we won't. We'll wait and see. Now we've got an update on Romelu Lukaku from Inter Milan. Sky Sports are reporting uh, that Manchester City are having a look at Lukaku, but he's one of several attackers that City are looking at. Messi and Haaland are also other players that have been mentioned, by the way. Uh, but apparently Manchester City are keen, but PSG are also keen on him too. Manchester City have said that they've got no problem with making a move for Lukaku. He has ties with United. He used to play for them. That isn't a hiccup. That's not a problem for Manchester City if they do want to make a move for him. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the, the comments below Lukaku would you be happy with him or not personally I don't see us making a move because I don't think he's technically got the uh, ability that City would be looking for for a striker but we'll see we will see now moving on to our final story we've got an update on Erling Haaland from Borussia Dortmund now Daily Mail have been reporting that Manchester City they want to sign Erling Haaland from Dortmund this summer uh, they will not wait until next summer for his release clause to become active uh, which is thought to be, they say, £68 million. Pound. I thought it was £75 million. Pound. Uh, is it €75 million? Euros? And that's £68 million. Pound. I'm not too sure. Anyway, somewhere between £68 and £75 million pounds is his release clause. That isn't active, though, until the summer of 2022. So I see Borussia Dortmund uh, selling up this summer, cashing in and getting more money for him because uh, obviously they're going to lose him for a price that wouldn't reflect his value. £68 million to £75 million pound for Erling Haaland is an absolute bargain. So I see Dortmund and cashing in on him uh, this summer so it makes that dif uh, deal very difficult because of how much competition there will be and I can see Dortmund selling to the highest bidder for him to join Manchester City it would take Erling Haaland to say uh, no matter what offer he's received I want to join Manchester City only no other club uh, will that happen? That remains to be seen will his agent Rayola make that happen? I doubt it will he negotiate with City if there's money involved I imagine he would but the working relations between his agent Rayola and uh, Chicky at Manchester City who's in charge of our transfers is yes burnt bridge not not very good so it's i'm not sure i'm not sure but anyway uh, apparently the article saying that dortmund they want 100 million pound for erling Haaland. uh yeah uh, apparently lukaku's 80 million pound i'd play the extra 20 if i'm honest and get Haaland, but we'll see what city end up doing uh, the express are reporting uh, in terms of wage 400,000 pounds per week is what it would take for Erling Haaland to join Manchester City. It's just not normally how City do their business. £100 million, £400,000 per week, highest paid player at City. It's not normally how we do our business. So will we break that strategy or not in the summer? Something's got to give it. It'll either be we don't and we settle for somebody else or we do and we go for one of the, if not the best young prospect out there in Erling Haaland. Would like to know your thoughts of that in the comments below. So there we go. That has been the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below. Which attacker do you want Manchester City to make a move for in the summer? Do let me know. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. Like I said at the beginning of the video, daily Manchester City transfer updates when that summer transfer window does open in June. So stay tuned for that. Uh, also, we are aiming for 16,000 subscribers and we've got the 20,000 subscriber aim in sight as well. So uh, any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email. Also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. And I'll be back again very soon for another Manchester City video. We'll be back with another transfer video at some point, I'm sure. Uh, so do stay tuned for that. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well too. Peace. Ciao for now.